Hey guys, I'm back and today I'm going to be doing the eighth update to my Pan That palette, which this year is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam palette. And I am so happy to be working on this palette this year. Without further ado, let's hop straight into the update. And here is what the palette was looking like last month. I had Pan on five shades and I have used this palette an additional 19 times since my last update and here is what the palette is looking like this month as you can see right off the bat we have a new pan and i've definitely seen a little bit of progress on some of the other shades so let's hop straight into kind of a shade by shade rundown tempura i've been working on um trying to just use it on my brow bone to blend out outer corners if I go a little bit too heavy. This is not my favorite cream shade because it is a satin, not a matte. It has a little bit of a glow and although it's very subtle, I have found that it is visible and it'll just make my crease look a little bit weird if I lay this down before I go in with other mattes or if I go in too heavily with it to bl like blend out an area. So I'm just going to kind of keep reaching for it here and there and hopefully I can continue to see progress. There is a pretty big dip on it so I don't think it will take too much more time. The shade that is vexing me is Orange Soda. This shade I have been using a ton. I'm wearing it today in the crease and I feel like you can't even tell that I've used it at all. It's just so bright. Like it's basically a bright pastel. Um, and so I found it a little bit difficult to use uh, in large quantities. I tend to go in really lightly in the crease and it gives kind of this just orangey halo around my eyeshadow. I think it looks really pretty. I just don't know how to use more of it when I'm doing my eyeshadow. So this shade has been vexing me a little bit. Rose Pink I've used a bunch. My current Pan Those Eyeshadows grouping, um, I've had the same group of shadows for like two updates. You should check out that project if you haven't yet. Um, they have... I have a red and that I've been wearing a lot with rose pink and mulberry, like working three shades together to create these pinky smoky eyes. And I think it's so pretty. I've also used rose pink a couple of times with Sienna. Um, and it's just been really fun to play with this shade. I've been mostly going in with my finger. I think if I realistically want to see a pan in the next couple of months, I need to start going in with a brush because that's when I typically see pan more quickly than um, if I just go in with my fingertip because I feel like a brush picks up product and a finger like smushes it down, if that makes any sort of sense. Bronze I have not used much at all. I find this shade a little bit difficult for me to use. Um, it's just kind of got this depth to it that I think makes looks a lot more glam than maybe I really want on a day-to-day -day, so I tend to only reach for it when I'm really glamming it up and I just didn't have a lot of that this month. It is a really pretty color. I think once I hit pan on rose pink then I will really start focusing on this shade. Mulberry I reached for quite a, a good amount. I've been using it to line my eyes, putting it in the outer corner, the other day I put it all over my lid and then layered a shifty kind of topper shade on top of it as I which was a suggestion in the comment section on my last update and it looked really pretty. Um, so I do think I'll have hit pan on this shade by the end of the year. This is just not one that I necessarily like want to make a focus shade because it's so dark. I think I'm just gonna like enjoy it for what it is and then maybe as we get closer to December I will start wearing it as a liner every single day or coming up with looks that use it in a large quantity. Um, Dusty Rose had pan last month. I love this shade though. Fairy um, I have reached for a couple of times. 
I'm still painting a goldy champagne in my pan, those eyeshadows. I'm so close. Once I hit pan on this, then this is just going to be my go-to in our corner shade. And I have no doubt that I'll be able to hit pan on it super quickly because that is exactly what happened with the glistening. Burnt Orange, I had pan on last month. Sienna, I've been using as much as I can. Um, I tend to go in with uh, orange soda in the crease and then I'll deepen things up with Sienna. That's what I did today and I think it looks really nice. Um, and then sometimes I'll just go in straight with Sienna if I just want something super quick. So this um, is my next matte that I think I'll hit pan on. It's got a good dip on it. Um, and I really like using it in the outer corner, lower lash line, all of those things. So this is going to be my main focus shade for the upcoming month. Rustic, I finally hit pan on and I'm so excited. I've been really loving this shade throughout the project, using it um, primarily when I have bright lip colors that I am trying to work on in my Wheel of Lippies project and I'll just kind of go all over the lid and on the lower lash line one and done shade for a look and that's really all that I've been using it for and I finally hit pan. Cypress Umber I've had pan on for a while and Noir I'm really not trying to hit pan on in this project. So that is everything and this palette is looking really well loved not only for the shadows but also because the mirror fell off um, so I need to glue this back on because it's been kind of a pain in the butt to have it in two separate pieces like this. Um, and as I said, for this upcoming month, I'm really hoping to focus on Sienna. I don't know if I can get pan in the upcoming month, but just keep trucking away at it. Um, and rose pink, I would like to see a lot of progress on. So these two shades are going to be my goal. Everything else just kind of keep using a handful of times. Um, and then if we could get good, good progress on these two, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shades to hit pan on still. We do have about three and a half months left of this project realistically given um, finale scheduling. So I think I'm gonna have to wear a lot of eyeshadow in these three and a half months to hit pan on seven shades, but some of these shades the work has already been put in like fairy and mulberry is already like halfway to pan and i just need to push it along the rest of the way so that is everything for today's update thank you so much for joining me i hope you are having an incredible day wherever you are and that i get to see you in a future video thanks guys